a week ago when I had uploaded my reports on what Rubius Eden has proven, I noticed in the related videos playlist on the right that Rubius Eden is working on yet another webisode series, something called Otaku Generation, more like Poser Generation, am I right? But I'm getting ahead of myself. First things first. Rubius Eden calls himself a fan of film and a filmmaker, both of which are complete lies. Rubius Eden is neither a fan of film nor is he a filmmaker. Based on the list of what he said is wrong with all my videos, why they're all tortured to watch, even though it was only based on the last three minutes of Bill and Ted's Final Metal Gear, and combined with what sort of videos he himself puts out, I do believe that I have managed to decrypt what it is that Rubius Eden believes is a good movie, you know, something that is not bad and boring. Rubius Eden believes videos are bad and boring if they do not contain guns, explosions, or CGI effects. And so that is why Rubius Eden will never watch any movies which predate the 1980s. You know, I'm actually quite disturbed by my lack of old American movies. Oh, here's one. Escape from New York. Don't even lie. I know you have not seen Escape from New York. Ah, uh, cheesy graphics. Ah, uh, lame location. Ah, uh, lame and sloppy costumes. Ah, uh, not enough guns. Ah, uh, there's no explosions. Ah, uh, there's no CGI graphics. Do not lie. I know for a fact you have never seen Escape from New York. You know, you call yourself a fan of film and you have never seen Escape from New York? Get real! Oh, let me guess, you probably saw Blade Runner, you know, thinking it was going to be another OZOMFG sci-fi cyberpunk action movie like Armitage the Third, right? But then you were disappointed to find out it was so uh, bad and boring, you know? Uh, your helplessness can be seen by the cheesy effects, you know? Oh, speaking of Escape from New York, Here's Big Trouble in Little China, another Kurt Russell movie. You probably haven't seen this one either because, eh, cheesy effects, eh, lame location. You know, what else? Oh, have you ever seen Darkman? Have you ever seen Liam Neeson in Darkman? Oh, that is one of his greatest roles ever. You know, yeah, I don't have too many old movies, but I watched a lot of them in the Cinematic Arts Department at the University of New Mexico. You know, let's see, some of my favorites were Buster Keen's and Charlie Chaplin's movies, you know, like Gold Rush and then Sherlock Jr., you know, Gold Rush was from Charlie Chaplin and Sherlock Jr. was Buster Keen. You know, oh, but no, you would find those videos to be a torture to watch because their helplessness can be seen because they're in black and white and they're silent films, you know. Their helplessness can be seen because they didn't have the technology necessary to make talkies back then. Their helplessness can be seen because they didn't have Technicolor back then. No, you would find those a torture to watch. Never mind the cheesy effects in Gold Rush, you know, the clay animation, and you got Charlie Chaplin doing the superimposition of him jumping out of the house, you know. Oh, you would find those special effects terrible, you know, very cheesy special effects. There's no way you would ever watch those movies. Oh, and let's not forget about Fritz Long, you know, Metropolis and M, you know, some of those, you know, oh, cheesy effects. Your helplessness can be seen because it's in black and white. I need to read inner titles. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, yeah, and let's not forget about Metropolis, you know, you got the giant statue, mechanical statue with steam coming out of its mouth. It's so funny to look at, you know, yeah, cheesy effect, you know, even though Fritz Long is a German and you should be watching his movies, but oh, no, you would never watch those movies, you know, they're just so horrible because they're so out dated. You know, they lack special effects. They lack computer generated effects and guns and explosions and all that other stuff you like. All those other things that make movies not bad and boring. And you know what? Let's go ahead and use Japanese cinema as a segue, you know. I mean, we gotta look at Rubius as a so-called filmmaker and then Rubius a so-called otaku. How about we use the Japanese cinema as a way to link those two together, shall we? Now, how can someone call himself both a fan of film slash filmmaker and an otaku without looking at Japanese cinema? 
I'm going to look at some Japanese movies which I'm quite certain Rubius Eden has never seen or he thinks are bad and boring because they lack guns, explosions, special effects and in the case of Japanese cinema you're probably also looking at samurai action. You know, all these films which are so greatly hailed yet Rubius Eden has probably never seen them himself and yet he somehow calls himself a fan of film as well as an otaku. Here's some Sony Chiba. You know, I'm sure you've never seen any of his movies. Oh, Bullet Train, you know. What's this movie about? Oh, it's about a bomb on a train. Well, does it ever go off? No, it doesn't go off. Oh, well, it's so bad and boring. It's just about a bomb on a train. WTF, that's so bad and boring. How could you make a movie like that, you know? Even though it's one of Japan's greatest. Oh, and let's see. What are some other ones I have back here? Oh, Yo Jimbo and Sanjuro. And I have... You know, Seven Samurai somewhere. I forgot to bring it up here with me, but anyway. So yeah, you know, all these awesome movies that were done by this guy, you know. He's hailed as one of Japan's greatest directors, and for some reason his name escapes me at the moment because I am a fucking moron. You know, but in any case, you know, yeah, these awesome old Japanese films, you know, not really big on all that samurai action that you expect to find in modern movies. <laughs> yeah, that's bad and boring. Never mind the fact they're in black and white, you know. Hey, your hell isn't going to be seen because that's in black and white. Oh, oh, the Musashi trilogy, you know, the samurai trilogy. I'm willing to bet you've never seen this either. You know, you got Mifune playing the part of Musashi here, you know, Mifune, one of the greatest actors in Japanese cinema. You know, this was done in what? 1956. 1956 is when these movies came out. Oh no, that's so bad and boring, you know. The colors aren't crisp. There's no, there's no samurai fighting like in today's films, no. You're going to get some real samurai fighting out of this stuff. But even then, you know, it's like, where was it? Do do do. Oh, oh, here's one you'll love. You would love versus, you know, it's just a non-stop battle royale blood fest. Oh, wait, that's right. It has cheesy special effects. Never mind, you would find it a torture to watch because of the special effects being cheesy, you know. Let's see, you know. Oh, here's ones that you probably are not familiar with. Suki Bondeka, yeah. You probably never even watched these movies, you know. Oh, look at those cheesy special effects. So bad and bad. You know, you can totally see they were using dummies in those shots. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. The Last Blade. It was done in, what was it? Uh, it doesn't say what year it came out. Oh, 2006. 2006. What is this movie about? It's about a samurai who falls in love with his maid. Is there any fighting in it? Is there any heads getting cut off or anything like that? No. There is no CGI or heads getting cut off. No samurai fight. Just for the last 10 minutes, just in the last 10 minutes, you know, for like two minutes of the last 10 minutes, yeah, there's some fighting going on. And the whole special effect in this movie is a guy getting his arm blown off by a musket. You know, that's the only special effect in here. And that's the only fighting in here. But you would think it's bad and boring. Oh, it's just about a samurai falling in love with his mate. Big whoopity do. So bad and boring. You know, oh, I'm sure you watched Shinobi. Oh, but wait a second. That's right. It has cheesy special effects. You know, oh, so bad and boring. A torture to watch because of the cheesy special effect. You know. So yeah. That's just some Japanese cinema, which you probably never even watched. Oh, oh, Om Yoji. You know, about Japan's greatest, what is it? Om Yoji. No, that's why it's called Om Yoji. It's about Abe no Seime. You know, I'm sure you would find it pretty boring because even though there's magic in it, it's not all that awesome. And, you know, the effects are cheesy. Yeah, very cheesy special effects. You would never watch that. You know, no, you could never get past the cheesy special effects in this stuff. Yeah, yeah, cheesy special effects. Yeah, your headlessness can be seen because you're in black and white. Yeah, your headlessness can be seen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you would never watch these awesome Japanese movies. In fact, while we're at it, how about we look at some other aspects of Japan, which I'm sure Rubius Eden finds bad and boring. You remember how you claim that my other videos besides Bell and Ted's Foul Metal Gear Missing segment are even worse? And I'm guessing that goes for 
the Japanese tea ceremony video that I have up on YouTube. Also, you have no appreciation for the Japanese tea ceremony. The Japanese tea ceremony is worse than Bill and Ted's final metal gear. You call yourself an otaku and you think that the Japanese tea ceremony is so bad and boring? Wow! Oh, and by the way, if you're such an otaku, where is your katana set? You know, where are your katana? Huh? Where are they? If you're such an otaku as you claim to be, surely you've got katana, right? Two of them at least, yeah? Oh, hey, what's this well-worn, you know, red, like, I don't know, a dozen or two times book that I'm always carrying around in my pocket? You know, the Book of Five Rings by some guy named Musashi? Who the fuck is this Musashi guy, you know? I mean... He's only Japan's greatest samurai, undefeated in over 60 life or death battles, author of the Book of Five Rings, among other sorts of things. I mean, he only has a 1,000 page biography. You know, I think the only book that I've read which is larger is The Count of Monte Cristo. You know, but yeah, you know, who's this Musashi guy? Oh no, he's so bad and boring. Why should I read any of his works? Why should I read the Book of Five Rings? That's so bad and boring. You know, yeah, I can definitely tell that you have never read the Book of Five Rings because here you are, you're provoking one of your fans for almost a year, you know. It's like, yeah, that's your opinion. You are wrong. Your own videos are bad and boring, you know. And then you run away. Yeah, I can definitely tell you have never read the Book of Five Rings, much less study it, because it's so bad and boring. Ruby Seedon is not interested, nor has the time to read the Book of Five Rings and Musashi's 1,000 page biography. And now here we are back at the start, you know, poser generation, not otaku generation, poser generation. Rubius Eden also calls himself an otaku, but I am willing to bet he has never watched any anime which predates the 1990s. In fact, I'm willing to bet he has never watched any anime which predates Cowboy Bebop, which was 1996. See? I don't even need to watch that teaser for otaku generation to know that's really called poser generation. Just judging from what your definition of bad and boring is, you know, what makes videos a torture to watch, I can tell right away that the only things you are encompassing are all the cool things that kids like these days, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Bleach, what are some of the other ones, Trinity Blood, and all those other ones and you are not encompassing any of the classics at all. Please tell me you have seen Tenchi Muyo. Please, please, please tell me you have seen Tenchi Muyo. Or are you such a poser that you have not even seen that? Jeez, I mean, come on, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six Tenchi Muyo series. If you have not seen a single Tenchi Muyo series and you call yourself an otaku, oh jeez, you are pathetic. Oh, here's another classic, X. Yeah, I'm sure you've never seen this one, you know. No doubt you've seen Ghost in the Shell and Akira just so you can save seeing them, but, you know, they were still probably bad and boring to you, you know, all old school. Oh, let's see, CDs. Oh, here's one. Area. 1994, two years before Cowboy Bebop. You know, I'm sure you have never seen Area. You know, I wish I had my copy of Green Legend Ran with me so that way, you know, I could show that. You know, that's probably something else you've never seen either. Call yourself an otaku and never seen Green Legend Ran. Oh. Oh, oh, I I'm sure you've never seen this chick before either in your entire life, you know. You probably don't even have a clue about who this is, and you call yourself an otaku? You gotta be kidding me, you know, and don't even know who this chick is? Psh. There you go, you 47, have your little gun chick back. Gunsmith cats. Oh, look, some more Tenchi. I forgot about these three movies. Oh, and the spin-off, Magical Project S. Yeah, you know, I completely forgot about that. Oh, what is that? That's like Sailor Moon. Oh my god, that is like so for kids. There's no way I would ever watch Magical Project S. Oh, Gundam Wing. Yeah, I know. Posers like you have seen Gundam Wing. Yeah. Do you know what this thing is? Do you know what this thing is? 
What? I'm sorry, could you please repeat that? Did you just say nine? What? You call yourself an otaku and you don't know what this thing is? Get the fuck off the internet, you poser! Poser, poser, P-O-S-E-R, poser! Call yourself an otaku and you don't know what this is? Poser! See, Helsing? Of course you've seen Helsing, you know? Who hasn't seen Helsing? Oh, check it out, I got the Armitage the Third series. Yeah, you know, Armitage the Third, Polymatrix movie, Armitage Dual Matrix, and then Armitage the Third OVA. Oh, hey, and check this out, you poser. It's an original Armitage the Third VHS tape, and it still has the $25 price tag on it. Oh, that's right, an original Armitage the Third VHS tape. Oh, no, you would never watch these because VHS tapes have five minutes of black at the end. Oh, Wicked City, I really doubt you've seen that, you know. X TV series. Oh, here's one I know you haven't seen. Love Hina. Eh, what's that about? It's about a guy trying to get into college and he's in a dormitory full of girls. Where are the guns and explosions and CGI and blah 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 blah? Well, there's occasional explosions, but you know, aside from that, no, you're not going to find any of that stuff that makes videos not bad and boring. Uh, no doubt you've never seen Love Hina. Huh? Oh, oh, I know for a fact you have never seen Project Echo, you know? That is way too old for you. It is so bad and boring. Your helplessness can be seen by the outdated drawings. Oh, and Transformers. I know you have not seen Transformers. Oh, Big O. Oh, I really doubt you've seen Big O, you stupid poser. Oh, yep, yeah, here's Advent Children. No doubt you've seen that. Let's see, uh, Armitage the Third CDs. I think that's all the anime that I have in this folder. Is it? Oh no, no! Soul Bianca. Oh, I really doubt you've seen Soul Bianca, and you call yourself an otaku? Get real. Oh, Miyuki Chan in Wonderland. Damn, that, uh, that's pretty old. Yeah, a poster like you has definitely seen Gundam Wing, but none of this original Gundam, you know, Z Gundam and Gundam 0079, you know. Oh, here's one I know you haven't seen. Gundress, you know, by Shiro Masamune. Yeah, you know, the same guy who does Ghost in the Shell. Since we're on the subject of Ghost in the Shell, yeah, I'm pretty sure you saw it, but you probably can't comprehend the mind funk behind it. But anyway, so yeah, Gundress, no doubt you've never seen that. Oh, Ayori Ashi. Now, oh, what's that about? It, it's another romantic comedy, just like Love Hina. Oh, that's so bad and boring. No one dies or anything. Yeah, it's so bad and boring. You know, oh, here's Tender Tender. I know you've seen that. Oh, please, teacher, you obviously have not seen that one. I can definitely tell you have never seen that. No, oh, what's that about? It's another romantic comedy. Yeah, that's right. I like romantic comedies. Oh, but I'm sure you have never seen Dominion Tank Police. You know, old one, new one. Yeah, no doubt you have never seen these, even though they're by Shiro Masamune. But oh no, you probably never seen those. Some more Gundam, Gundam 0083. Probably never seen that either. Uh, you know, such a poser. Gee. Oh, Fall Fantasy Unlimited. Yeah, a Fall Fantasy freak like you. No doubt you've seen that. Oh, Handmade May. Yeah, we got some Handmade May here. No doubt you've never seen that. You know, what's that about? It's about a little pint sized doll. The misadventures of a little pint sized doll named Surprise! May! And she's a handmaid! That's the name Handmade May! Uh, no, of course, you've never seen that. Uh, yeah, and no one dies or anything? Oh, yeah, I've got Dirty Pair of Flash here, but, you know, pretty sure you've never seen the original Dirty Pair. Oh, that is so outdated. The graphics are so bad on that. Oh, oh my god, there's no doubt you've never seen that either. Oh, no. It's like if no one's dying or anything, you're not going to watch it. Jeez. No, gotta have guns and explosions and death and kaboom and blah 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 blah. Absolutely nothing that makes videos awesome. You know? Oh, Tokyo Babylon. I'm sure you've never seen this one before, right? Yeah. You know, the prequel to X. You know. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you probably think just by looking at Oh, that is so yaoi. Uh, yeah, that's right. Judging books by their covers. Jeez. And Burn Up, the original Burn Up, not Burn Up Scramble, you know, even though Burn Up Scramble is good in its own right, but the original Burn Up, no doubt you've never seen that. And of 
course, what kind of otaku can you call yourself if you have not seen Otaku no Video? Or no video as it was translated here in America. Otaku no video. Yeah, no doubt you have never seen that. That is so old. How old is it again? Let's see. 1982. 1982. It predate no. Gundam predates this. But no doubt you've never seen this because it predates Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Never seen anything that predates Cowboy Bebop. You know, calling yourself an otaku and you've probably never seen otaku no video. Oh, poser! Oh, and let's not forget about the other part of the otaku dome, you know, anime and video games. You know, I'm sure Ruby's Eden has never played any video games before the PlayStation. And if he has, he probably played them after he got his hands on the PlayStation. See, Rubius, while you are playing most of these games on these compilations for the first time, these are just basically walks down memory lane for me. But then again, you would never be caught playing these games now, would you? I mean, their helplessness can be seen because of their dated graphics. You know, especially this one, the Intellivision. Oh, wow, yes. You would never be caught dead playing these games. You know, they're so bad and boring. Their graphics are so horrible. Their helplessness can be seen because they didn't have awesome processors back in the day. So, Rubius, I hear you like Squaresoft games, or Square Enix as they're now called. Tell me. Have you ever played Einheinder? You know, I'm told in German, Einheinder means one hand. You know, I guess that would make sense for this game because it's about a ship with a single claw, you know. Einheinder. You know, being a fan of Squaresoft games, I figured that might be something you play. Oh, and you like RPGs, do you? Tell me, have you ever played Ephemeral Fantasia? Oh no, of course not. I mean, come on, the hero uses a guitar as a weapon, you know. Psh, how lame can you get? That's almost as bad as the hero using a key as a weapon, you know. It's like, what's up with that? Oh, and Dark Cloud, have you ever played Dark Cloud, you know? Oh no, you gotta build the world in that one. Ugh, that's awful. Oh, oh, well, Prince of Persia isn't exactly an RPG, but it certainly is an awesome game series. You know, I mean, but no, I'm sure you've never played that either, you know. Oh, what's this about, Prince of Persia? Who cares about Persia? Japan is superior, am I right? Uh, oh, here's a RPG I bet you never played, Legend of Gaia. Oh, yeah, you know, I can totally see you've never played Legend of Gaia. Yeah, you know, so many great games that you've probably never played. Oh, oh, I know you've never played Lunar, you know. Ugh. Your helplessness can be seen by the 2D sprite graphics, you know. What are you doing on the PlayStation? We're in the age of 3D polygon video games. Why are these games still in 2D sprite? Yeah. Who would play these games? Who would play the Ponichi Sakura games? Yeah. So bad and boring because they're in 2D. Oh, and here's one, Azure Dreams. Oh, but no, that's in 2D also. Yeah. So bad and boring. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whatever. You're missing out on some pretty great games here, poser! Oh, and have you ever played this game called Metal Gear Solid? I'm willing to bet an RPG tart like you has never played Metal Gear Solid. You know, oh, what's this? You gotta sneak around? You can't be seen by bad guys? Oh, no, that is so bad and boring. Where are all the guns? Let me just shoot people mindlessly and beat them up. You know, no. An RPG tar like you would never be able to play a game like Metal Gear Solid, you know. Never mind the fact that the graphics are so bad and boring, you know. Their helplessness can be seen because of these low polygon graphics. I mean, here, just take a look at them. You know, they were revolutionary back in the day, but oh no, by today's standards, they're bad graphics. Oh no, you could never play this game now. I mean, just look at this, 1997 water effects. 
Oh, yes, just look at these bad polygon graphics. Oh my gods, they're, they're so horrible. Ugh. Ruby's Eating could never play this game because of the bad graphics. Oh, and you definitely cannot call yourself a gamer if you have never played any of these old school first person shooters such as Duke Nukem, Doom, and Wolfenstein 3D. Never mind the fact that the whole point of Wolfenstein 3D is to go kill Nazis. Yeah, this guy look familiar to you? Hitler? Yeah, hell Hitler, right? You know, whole point in this one is, oh, here's a Nazi. Die, Nazi! Uh! Yeah, hell Hitler now, bitch! Uh! Where's your fear now? Oh, Nazi dogs! Die, Nazi dogs! Uh! Yeah, where's your fear now, bitches? Uh! Hell Hitler this! Uh! Killed another Nazi! Uh! Another Nazi dog! Uh! Where's your fear now, bitches? Uh! Oh, now here's a game I know an RPG tar like you could never ever play. You would just find this game way too difficult. God hand, yeah. There is no way a RPG tar like you would ever be able to take on the fierceness that is God hand. Now, if you want a ball bustingly hard game to play, God hand's the good way to go. But I know a RPG tar like you would never be caught playing this game. You know, that's way too difficult for the likes of Rubius Eden. Takes too much work, you know, just pressing that square button repeatedly. Never mind the fact it's a cheater game. How can you call yourself an otaku when you are not at all including any of the old classics or the new classics? All you're doing is just including what's popular these days. Because guess what? You are not an otaku. You are a poser. Now see, I do have a right to wear a shirt that reads O-T-A-K-U. You do not have such a right, Rubis Eden. Your shirt would read P-O-S-E-R. Now, if people want to go on and watch your poser generation video, then fine. Let them. But if they want to see what a real otaku is, what a real otaku generation would be, then they should check out my upcoming website saga. Hey, here's some fun trivia for you, Rubius Eden. Who inspired anime? I'll give you a hint. It's one of those companies which you probably watched their movies as a kid. Well, you should have watched their movies as a kid if your parents had done their job right of raising you correctly. But judging by what a shithead you've turned out to be, I don't think your parents did raise you correctly. So you probably never watched those movies as a kid. But that's the company which inspired anime. I'll bet you did not know that. What kind of otaku can you be if you do not know the history of anime? What kind of filmmaker can you claim to be if you do not know the history of film and you think all movies are bad and boring unless they have guns, explosions, and awesome CGI effects. You're not a filmmaker, and you are not a fan of film. There is no doubt in my mind that Rubius Eden has never worked with real film, actual celluloid, you know, 16mm and 32mm. Oh no, why would anyone ever work with such an antiquated means of filming in today's day and age? I mean, you know, only 95% of Hollywood's movies still use celluloid. You know, why would anyone ever work with that outdated means of filming? Yeah. Rubius Eden is neither a filmmaker nor an otaku. So long as he does not understand the histories of film, Japan, anime, and video games, he can never be any of the above. Can he make videos? Yes, he can. Anyone on YouTube can make videos. Can he make movies? Maybe someday, once he learns how to properly shoot and edit film. But he will never, ever be an artist. So long as he continues to believe that movies are all about this eye candy, you know, all these awesome effects and action-packed things, you know, he will never be an artist. Because there is more to making film than just what's on top, what the audience sees. It's about the subconscious level as well. Now see, Ruby's Eden was complaining about the special effects in Bill and Ted's Final Metal Gear Missing Segment being bad and boring, real cheesy. But see, here's the thing. I do everything myself. 
from pre-production to post-production. I have complete control over everything I do. Whereas Rubius Eden, all he does is he just shoots and edits. And you know, he can't even do that right. But anyway, so then he passes the end result off to Neoblast or Moon Pair and has them do the special effects. You know, I would like to see Rubius Eden do those awesome special effects by himself. You know, I do my own special effects, but Rubius Eden passes the stuff off to someone else to do the special effects. Now, when Rubius Eden can start doing his own awesome effects, then he can start bitching about special effects being bad and boring. But, until you're forced to do everything yourself, you know, from pre-production to post-production, including the special effects, there's no way you can call yourself a filmmaker. When I first went into the University of New Mexico Cinematic Arts Department, I was a lot like Ruby Seedick. You know, I thought that if movies didn't have all these awesome effects and explosions and guns and whatnot, that they were bad and boring. But, you know, unlike Rubius Eden, I learned, you know, I went into the department and learned what actually constitutes movies as bad and boring. Even Fight Club, you know, on the personal level, I hate this movie. This movie is absolute crap to my personal taste. But on the professional level, based on what I have learned through the University of New Mexico's Cinematic Arts Department, this movie is freaking great. I hate it personally, you know, I think it's bad and boring personally. But at the professional level, I can see that it has more depth than just what's on the screen. That is what art is. That is what cinematic art is. Oh, here's a Nazi. Die, Nazi! Uh. Yeah, hell, hell, or now, bitch! Uh. Where's your fear now? Oh, Nazi dogs! Die, Nazi dogs! Uh. Yeah, where's your fear now, bitches? Uh. Hell, hell, or this! Uh. Killed another Nazi! Uh. Another Nazi dog! Uh. Where's your fear now, bitches? Uh. I look like such a demon! <laughs> Ra! Ra! Uh. Gonna eat you, Ruby, as he didn't rah!